Welcome to QA Coding Express channel. In today's session, we are going to automate the file download process using Selenium WebDriver. I am really excited to cover most of the important topics that are mainly required for Selenium automation. I am pretty sure that this would be a base for the beginner as well as intermediate person to upskill themselves to become an automation expert in creating the Selenium automation framework. Let's don't waste time. I'll just invoke this file examples.com. In this website, we are going to download the doc and docs files and we are going to automate whether the files are being downloaded successfully using Selenium WebDriver. I'll show you the test execution right now. It's like a trailer and then we'll get into the main picture. That is uh, coding part slowly. Okay, let me open up the file. So this is the script which I've created. Let me run the test execution. We're just going to see the trailer only. File examples.com got opened right now. Now the first file is being downloaded and it is going to download these subsequent files. Let's wait for some time. Is getting downloaded and then the third file it's done there are totally six files now it is on fourth file yeah downloaded yes it's done and then the sixth file now we'll once it is done then now we'll be getting into the eclipse let's see yes all the execution is done okay let me uh, refresh this test reports i've just created an extent report to generate the test report so this is the latest file let me open up the file in chrome okay, let me open up we should be able to see the report excellent report let's see see this is the report i've generated using extent reports and all the files are being downloaded that's all about the trailer let's get into the main picture right now I mean the coding part. So before I walk you through the code, let me show you the interesting exception which we always face while working with typical web application. That is fail element exception. Assume there is a web element found on the web page. Just because of the DOM changes, this web element goes stale. I mean this particular web element is no longer available on the DOM. In that case, when we try to interact with that particular element, we receive stale element exception. I'll show you the exception right now. I've just created one more file, file download stale exception test at Java. And this particular file helps to understand why that particular exception is throwing. Let me run it. The test execution has started. Let's wait. Now it is opening up file examples.com. It has opened. Okay, it is trying to click on this particular close and then it got started downloading a file. First file is getting downloaded correctly and it is trying to click these subsequent files. Let's wait. Now we are getting some exception. Let me open up the report. We'll try to understand why it is throwing that error. When you go into this, yeah, you could see here stale element reference exception. The element is not attached to the page document. Okay. Now to fix this particular issue, I've just created one more file. Okay. File download test to underscore one dot Java. Let's get into the code and then we'll try to understand why that particular exception is coming. We are fixing that bug. Let's get into the code walkthrough file download style exception test. I'll show you the framework structure. So this is the project name test AUT framework. Under this project, we have SRC test Java. Inside this particular uh, package, I've created three different files. File download sale exception test Java, file download test underscore one dot Java, and two dot Java. Let's see first this one, this particular file alone. So this is the file name, and then I've created four different instance variables. Private web driver driver. This is to declare driver variable and uh, private string URL equal to file examples.com. This is to take the URL 
value, I have defined the two different extend reports variables to initialize the extend reports. Okay, so so the, as I said, uh, these are all the instance variables. Okay, these are defined inside this particular class. Okay, that's it. Let's get into add before test. I've created a test ng annotation add before test. Probably you would have known about uh, test ng annotations. If not, please watch my uh, test ng videos. Okay, this is the invoke driver. This is the method. Okay. Inside this method, we have started uh, initializing the extend reports. Okay. You could see clearly, I've defined the path here, path of this particular report, system.getProperty user.dir. This helps to get the, this particular project file path. For example, I'm just, I'll show you. C uses Nagarajan P testing workspace, test AOT framework, right? So this path will be fetching using this system.get property. Okay, so why I'm saying all these things, right? Whenever a beginner is watching this particular uh, video, then you should be able to understand this uh, surname web wrapper right from scratch. So that is why I'm explaining all these things. Okay, let's wrap it uh, quickly. File.separator. Okay, so this helps create slash something like this. Okay, and slash test reports. See, under this particular map, test IoT framework okay we are creating a test report here so that is why this project file name slash test reports slash and we are giving automation test report underscore so this is the test report file name okay so after this underscore right automation test report underscore we are getting the system time so that is why i've written a method inside this particular common utility get current date time that will fetch us the current time dot replace all i'm trying to replace this particular slash with underscore so that the report looks neat and clean okay and we are trying to replace the spaces with underscore and colon with underscore everything and then dot html come on true that's it so this is how you have to create a extend report variable and i mean we are trying to initialize this particular extend report with this particular ext report okay next the second line extend report dot load config this particular line helps to configure the extend report based on the configure file extend hyphen config dot xml okay this file is present inside src main resources okay i'll show you that we have defined some configurations. So based on this configuration, the extend report will generate the report based on the theme, dot theme or standard theme based on the protocol, which we have defined the document title, the report name, date format, time format, everything. Okay, so that's how it uh, generates a report. To the next line, system.set property. Here we are trying to set the Chrome driver path, okay. So code driver path is being set inside this particular test resources. Okay. So, so far we have uh, discussed about the uh, extend report configurations and how do we set up the Chrome driver path and all. Let's uh, see about the other things now. I've created a hash map declaration here with the initialization. I'm trying to create an hash map object uh, perhaps equal to new hash map. Okay. This is to change the default directory of a Chrome browser. I'm trying to create a object for this uh, chrome options with this option i'm just setting up the preference or experimental option equal to perhaps i've done with the options i'm just passing this option inside this chrome driver class something like this okay so this is to set the default directory of our uh, customized path this is c nagarajan test files that's it and then we are going with the uh, driver manage dot window dot maximize this is to maximize the window and then driver dot manage dot delete cookies to delete all the cookies of our page and then we'll go with the driver dot manage dot time dot implicitly wait duration of 10 seconds since we are using selenium version 4 we are using this particular syntax if you are using the selenium version less than 4 then probably you need to use this particular command driver dot manage dot time dot implicitly wait time unit dot seconds 
okay try to remember this particular thing okay so so far we have uh, talked about the add before annotation inside that we are setting up the ex extend report configurations and the map configurations we are changing the download default directory and then we are creating a chrome driver maximizing the windows implicitly wait to make the driver to wait for 10 seconds that's it let's get into a test and this is an annotation to perform the actual test i have written a method verify download file here in the first line i'm just starting up the extend report test and you can pass the test name whatever you want to verify the sample files are getting downloaded on fileexamples.com that's it and then we are trying to invoke this particular url so url value is coming from this particular variable okay and what we are trying to do here is i am trying to collect all the links on this particular web page driver or final elements of wide.css CSS selector this particular css selector using this we are trying to fetch all the links let me open up the page and show you the links we are trying to fetch all these links right so let me open the inspect element so what we are trying to do here is say as i said earlier right we are trying to get all the links of the page so let me try to find this particular link i can use this uh, css selector but i just wanted to teach you how, how we need to get all the links see here this is last name right uh, just select on this particular value put here and this to be this is to be something like this so we are trying to get all the links something like this so total six links so using the class name with the td tag name we are trying to get all the links so here if we could see here this set of links is present inside this particular class name so that's how we fetch all these links okay let's get into eclipse now we are getting all the links and passing all the links into this particular web list and then i'm trying to pass this particular web list inside a method click download link i've written this method separately okay In the next line we are trying to end this particular extent report test so as part of this verify download file what we are trying to do here is we are fetching all the links of a particular web page and then we are passing this links inside this particular click download link let's move into click download link method okay so this take the parameter web list or links here i have different two different variables string file name equal to null and file download path equal to c nagarajan test files this is basically to download all the files that are getting downloaded and inside this try block we have the for loop so this for loop is to iterate over all the links and we are trying to fetch the link and store it inside this particular variable web element download link i've written a condition if if condition this is basically to check with the href attribute contains this particular docs text here also we have written a statement to fetch that particular file name basically what we are trying to do here is we are trying to get all the links right so in this particular link we have the url right fetching the last index of this particular href attribute i mean to say the last index of this particular slash that gives you this particular index okay that plus one so that we'll be getting the so that we'll be getting the first name of the file it starts here file hyphen sample 500 dog so it starts from file now using the substring we are trying to fetch the end position so that means we are putting last index of docs plus five see docs let me show you the docs okay last index of docs plus five so starting position and with the ending position we are getting this particular file name so that that is why 
we have two different condition one is to get the docs file name another else condition is to get the doc file name so this docs so that is why we have got plus five here we have only four characters that is why you have put four okay now once the file names are being fetched we are trying to click the particular link once the link is being clicked it has to wait for three seconds at least so when i click on this particular uh, first link right now it is opening up the iframe here so let me show you where this particular link is being see when i click on this particular link the iframe is getting opened how i am saying this is present inside the iframe see when i scroll up right so here i could see on iframe see id iframe and this particular iframe is present inside one more iframe a swift underscore three see that is why when i click for the first time right so i'm just say uh, putting sleep as three seconds once iframe is this particular uh, advertisement pop-up is being opened we are switching into this particular iframe a swift three right so basically we are switching into the frame something like this and then again we are moving to another iframe this one where is that yeah you could see somewhere right iframe type lady iframe yeah here this one and then once we switched into these two iframes we are trying to click on this particular close button see when you click on this particular close button right this is the close button so we are using an explicit wait right duration of 10, 30 seconds and then wait dot until expected conditional visibility of element located which element this uh, close button see what i meant to say is control f control v so this particular close button id dismiss button so we are just using an explicit way to wait for 30 seconds and then we are just clicking on this particular close button okay once we click on this particular close button we are getting a link something like this and we are just trying to download a first file okay now we are again clicking on this particular go back link after the file is getting downloaded we are just clicking on this particular link go back see in the script you could see by dot link test go back i'm just clicking on this particular go back link it is now switching back to this previous window okay now when we try to iterate again right see we have clicked the first link and we are trying to click the next link when we try to move back to this particular window by clicking on the go back button this entire window got refreshed so that means the dom is getting reloaded again that particular links right this all the elements get, goes stale so that is why it was not able to click the second link and it was throwing stale element exception this is the thing i just wanted to highlight to fix this particular issue I've created a different file. File download test one dot Java. I'll show you one more thing here. Files are being downloaded correctly. We are performing the assertion here. Okay, but right now, using this particular file download uh, exception test, we are getting only stale element exception. We'll have to fix this particular exception. See, because of the stale, it comes here. Catch exception. It is trying to capture the screenshot of the particular test and then we are returning the extent report log as failed a download process is getting failed here we are explicitly failing the test asset dot asset true false and download process is failed so we are uh, getting the report in terms of extent report also as well as we are explicitly failing the test i'll try to show you the fix for this particular stale element exception